Welcome to day six of our January challenge 2019 and our final day working on the straightforward non-lever changing version of Lauren Scott's arrangement of pure imagination. Today the music revisits what we've already done and has an ending okay you'll notice that there's a repeat mark I'm not going to play through all that now but you could actually repeat back to the beginning and play everything that you've already done again before going into this new section although the new section brings back what we've done as well so I'm going to go straight in we're looking it looks like I've suddenly thrown three new lines at you but actually of those it's only the last line that has anything totally new in Okay, so I'm going to play it through for you now. I'm going back like my original with four, three, two, and one, C, E, G, and B, and my left hand's down on the F triad down in the bass, just like on day one. So here we go, one, two. Okay, so the only new part was that last line there. So I'll quickly talk you through the beginning part. C, E, G, and B, F triad in the bass. Got top hand goes back on that. Left hand jumps to B, D, and A. Right hand does C and D again with four and three, just so that you can leap your two up to here. My left hand's going down to a bass E. Getting ready onto the F sharp and G. Oops. There we go. Then I'm doing a triad shape, C, E, G, and my left hand's going to a triad sh shape, an F triad down in the bass, which is the same as before. Then just up, up, hop back down, B, D, A again. Step down. Left hand's going to a G and a D, which you can either do with four and two, or three and one, just like we did back on day three and then we have a high D and the difference between this and day three is we're not leaping up for yet another D because now we go into this last line my left hand is going to place an octave B and my right hand is going to get ready on G and A and D my thumb is on a D my three and two are on G and A right next to each other and I just play my left lowest note, my left highest note, and my right chord. One, two, three, four, left, left chord. And it's a clashing chord again, because you've got that G against the A. If you decide that you'd like to go and make it a bit of a terrium and roll it if you want to, that's up to you. Okay, and then that chord that you've just played, the G, the A, and the D, well, the G goes back on, but the A and the D land one higher. G, B, and E. It's the top three notes of an arpeggio shape. If I was to put my four onto the E, an octave from there, I'd have my arpeggio. So just those top three notes. Okay, my left hand, while that's there, is going to go down to a bass. I'm gonna do an octave E, and allow my finger two to just fall out of my hand onto the B in the middle. If I show you that with my right hand, placing an octave E and then just allowing my finger two to just fall out. There's no need to curve into place, just fall out. So I open my hand up for the octave and the finger two goes into that space as I do that ideally, because then it's one motion, but with your left. Okay, this is this shape that you, if you've done any before with me, you'll have heard me call it kind of one of those or an octave and a fifth. It's just this lovely shape down here. So my right hand is sitting on G, B and E. And it's gonna go back on those notes in a moment as well. So be ready to get back onto that. So it goes right, left, left, going back on with my right. This is jumping over to an F, G and a B in the top hand placing to the E and my left hand's jumping to an E and G there. 
okay? Now the way it's written, don't let it confuse you. The right hand chord happens, and then the next quaver is your left hand, and there's quaver movements, quavers, 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 and getting us to this note, and then the last four notes are semi-quavers. So they're twice as quick as the notes that have just been, and we're just sharing it between our hands. So to practice what to do, you've got your right hand on there and your left hand on there, the GBE in the top, the EBE in the left, and you can just practice, give the right hand a squeeze, give the left hand a squeeze, give the right hand a squeeze again as you reach over to the F and the G, which is actually just the next two notes up from where your thumb is in the right. F and G with your left, give that a squeeze and take your right hand off. Move that to the B and the high E and give that a squeeze. And move your left down either side of the black near middle C onto the E and the G and give that a squeeze. Okay, and that just sort of squeezy stepping through is in reinforcing to your hands, these are where I want to go. And then you can play it and you can do it as slowly as you need to. Chord and dawn straight on there, moving up. take some practice but you can do it just being clear on which hand is playing which so you'll notice that in the treble clef area you've got the chord left hand plays some notes down in the bass then this next three notes all have stems pointing up which highlights that it's still right hand playing those and it's the same notes as the chord then you have the f and the g these two semi quavers with the stems pointing down and that's for your left hand to play and then the next note has got a stem pointing up again, showing that it's the right hand that takes back over and giving your left hand time just to jump down to here. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly play through just that last, those last three bars I'm gonna play through. And then if you want to jump over to the play along video, we can work through the whole section and actually do the entire piece. Okay, so this is the last three bars, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, and of course you could rowl through those last that last section, the run up. Yeah, you have that ability to make it stretch out the way you want it for musical purposes, and if that happens to help you play it too, all the better. Okay, I'm going to go across to the play along video now, where we will work through our day six, and then we're actually gonna put the whole piece together as well. Look forward to seeing you over there. Well done. <laughs> 